this has been our mooring spot for the last four or five days all over New Year and it's been very lovely too but we did get properly frozen in because there's still a little bit of ice there um, while we were stuck here not only did we get frozen in but we've been almost locked down but uh, we need to turn around now we need to get water and we're also getting near the stage where we need to get the toilet tank emptied and we've got a little bit of a journey back so we're going to move on today away um, more up in the middle of nowhere once we've got water excuse this crazy dog Archie's got problems at the moment he's a bit hyperactive I don't know if it's the snow or the ice or being stuck in one place but he's got a bit fed up when he's on the boat and when he's out he just goes crazy anyway turning the boat round moving on to get water and then moving perhaps a mile or so um, on our way back to get to a boatyard that can uh, pump the toilet tank out for us and uh, it's freezing we've got so many layers on scarf coat jumper thermal tops walking trousers thermal tights <laughs> um, and it's about two degrees but at least the sun is shining so it's lovely here we go just need to see if the taps are working now hopefully not all frozen oh cool it's all good Well, Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Uh, it's the 5th, I think, of it January, is. yeah. We've had a lovely time. Nice, quiet Christmas, just the two of us. Uh, Claire, my daughter, was supposed to come and visit, but uh, in the end couldn't because of the restrictions. And uh, we're heading into more restrictions now, as of tonight, aren't we? Yeah, but, um, we're doing our last little trip out to collect some parcels and we're not sure that we'll even be allowed to do that tomorrow because it's essential trips out only so yeah, to stay at home only leave home for uh, food medical reasons vets etc for seven weeks at, at least. least seven weeks <laughs> it's not going to be reviewed to the end of feb so that's all very boring so we're not able to do any cruising um, we're going to pop over here to this marina in the next day or so and uh, get a pump out, come back into town, fill up with water and then head out again into the peace and quiet. Fortunately, it's, once again, it's really not a bad place to stop. There's lots of walks. Yeah. Um, the services are reasonably close to us. Uh, the shop is about a mile and a half away, I guess. Um, and it's fine, isn't it? We'll just, we just need to find a little spot that's quiet away from a uh, busy towpath, which it is on some areas here. Yeah. So I don't know how it's going to affect the build of the boat. I'm not sure whether they'll keep going or they'll lock, lock the business down for a few weeks. I don't know. We have to have that discussion. It certainly stops us going to visit, which yeah. we were planning to do this week. In fact, maybe today we would have been there, but... Um, definitely can't go in and visit the boat so yeah they're hopefully going to finish the painting on the outside today so or this week rather so it's all up in the air again <laughs> but never mind it is what it is and we have to conform 
I did get a little bit fed up yesterday when the when the news first came through that we were just almost completely locked down again and we did expect it but now we've adjusted ourselves to it it doesn't actually make too much difference to us and we just have to relax into it and once again use the time go with um, the flow and you know do the things the other things that we like to do and i guess we're lucky that we've got so many hobbies and interests so are we so we're allowed to go out and exercise once a day <laughs> but the, there's no time limit on that by the looks of it so mm -hmm. we'll just increase our walking again which is uh, what we were intending to do it was yeah so uh we've got some walking expeditions that are on the cards this year hopefully yes in the summer yes when uh, restrictions are lifted Big uh, plans. Big plans. <laughs> Camping and walking, etc. It's uh, something we've been longing to do. So that's about it, really. We can't go cruising. The only time we can move is to have a pump out, fill it with water, etc. So, uh, now we can do about it. <laughs> There's now we can do about it, so uh, we ain't going to moan about it. No, we're not. We're not. And it's, you know, really cold weather. It's been frozen um, for the last week on and off really oh, yeah. we've had snow many mornings woken up to the canal completely solid um so we can't move anyway really when it's like that when it's that frozen we don't move we're in a town in cheshire called northwich and the boat's about two and a half miles outside so we're walking in to get a bit of shopping before lockdown and um pick up a parcel what have you ordered? I oh, be telling. <laughs> Just some uh, some more art materials. Oh. So uh, yeah, lovely little walk. Nothing else to say. So <laughs> catch you later. Fifteen months ago, when we were on honeymoon. I bought this ash walking stick and it's fashioned so I can put my thumb in and it's got a rubber ferrule on the end and I'll take it everywhere and it's really good especially lately in the ice and snow it's um, helped me keep my feet on the ground if you like <laughs> so anyway um, I thought well that can't be too difficult so I whittled one for Fran look at that brilliant it needs a uh waxing yeah, or something now. Sand it down again and uh, give it a good uh, wax or varnish. Right for my thumb to go in. And uh, so as a consequence Fran bought me a wood whittling <laughs> set for Christmas. <laughs> thought that'd keep him quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be like Jack Hargreaves. Remember Jack Hargreaves? I do remember. How? Wow. Sorry that's lost on our continental friends. <laughs> it's probably lost on most people because we're the only ones that are old enough to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I shall be whittling some wood with a bit of luck and see uh, what I can make of it. It'll keep me out of trouble. It will it? keep you, as if you haven't got enough stuff to do, but it's, uh, it's a nice, I guess it'll be quite a nice meditative quiet calm thing to do even in the summer on a hot day just sitting there in the Till sun. I cut my thumb off. <laughs> That's all we need, isn't it? <laughs> New hat, Fran. Oh, don't. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything about that. I do get through hats, they get a bit mucky and rotten, so there we go. That was my first attempt at crocheting a, a garment, a hat. Yeah, I've done some stuff for the baby, but uh, yeah, I don't think I've got it quite right, but it's keeping me warm, so it's okay. And yeah, you know, it's been so, so cold, as we've said. It's taken us how long to get off the boat? This morning? Yeah. <laughs> Just, it must By have taken us. By the time we've had breakfast, got dressed, showered, dressed, etc. Uh, then gone up and down the boat several times because you forgot your boots, you forgot your hat, you forgot your coat. But it's not that, it's all the layers. You <laughs> the know, layers it's, you're it's on. tights and thermal layers and jumpers. You haven't got tights on, have you? I have. Well, not today. And then I have to put my gloves, because I get rain I put my gloves on the radiator, socks on the radiator, and it just must take us about 20 minutes just to get our coats and shoes and stuff on, doesn't it? Yeah, it uh, gets but, the dogs um, all whipped up and in a frenzy. So by the time they can't get off the boat, they're barking themselves stupid, aren't they? Yeah. 
So we actually, as much as we don't mind this time of year, we did say roll on summer when you can just Put stick your on flip -flops. your flip-flops and go. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> it's worth it in the end. It's, eh? It'll be lovely when you get back. So the fire, as you said, is ticking away. We've left a kettle of water. It, the fire's only low, we left a kettle of water on the fire. Warming up. Um, and we've got, I think we've got some cake and stuff when we get back. So, so this is Marbury Park behind. So if you cross that bridge there, and uh, there's acres upon acres of walkland. Walkland? Walk. <laughs> Woodland walks, etc. So uh, yeah, we're going to do a lot of exploring in the next uh, coming months, because we ain't got nowhere else to go. Behind us is the Anderton boat lift and we've been in and around this area now for over a year haven't we? Well in fact last Christmas we were more just along there at exactly that point so yeah. <laughs> and we've never been up and down it yet so uh, maybe when we get the new boat that will be on the list of one of the first things to do. It's frozen solid at the moment, yeah. this pound is frozen solid so. Yeah exciting, it takes you by the way, sorry I thought somebody was coming. <laughs> it takes you by the way from the Trenton Mersey Canal where we are down onto the River Weaver and uh, it's closed now, it closes for winter but uh, yeah I think uh, definitely on the cards but one of the first things we do when we get the new boat. We've already had some lovely walks around here because you can walk down to the river and along but we did that in really icy absolutely frozen conditions. No, it it had snowed and then melted and then frozen and it was just sheet ice, wasn't it? So we didn't do any filming because we were too busy just making sure our feet went running one in front of the other on that journey. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the sticks come in handy. Oh yeah. Well, fortunately, just before Christmas, we were able to meet up with and uh, have a towpath party, if you like, with Mark. <laughs> Socially distanced. Socially distanced. With Mark and Debbie from Weldeck Diaries. And as many of you know, Debbie's been going through a rotten time at the moment with her health. And um, it was fabulous, wasn't it? Oh, such, they went to such a lot of effort and... Uh, yeah, it was just just wonderful, wonderful six seven hours. We were sitting out with um, yeah. dinner cooking over the fire. It was, it was lovely. lovely. It wasn't a four o'clock in the morning job though. It was too cold. I think we <laughs> retired at uh, what do you think nine or ten o'clock was that it something like that? Was a once in a lifetime. I think that four <laughs> yeah. o'clock in the morning. None of us have ever recovered from that. So no, but it was, uh, very it was great. Mark was like <laughs> a kid at Christmas, wasn't he? All yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, it was brilliant. So. Um, Thanks a lot, Thank Debs you. and Mark. Yeah. It was fabulous afternoon. Do it and, again um, soon. As soon as we can, we'll be out there again. Unfortunately, like a numpty, I've deleted all the footage I took. So <laughs> I'm going to nick a bit of yours to show above this. And also, we had an um, exciting visit to the boat, didn't we, over Christmas? We managed to get to see the boat, yeah, before uh, all this nonsense started again. They've started um, doing the painting on it now. Um, it's still undercover. It's still in the... Dry dock, isn't it? Yeah, dry dock. dry dock, yeah. Um, but we were able to get inside and meet with the man who's fitting it out. And, oh, it's just really coming along leaps and bounds now. Really is coming along well. And although it still looks like there's loads of wires hanging down, <laughs> which there are. Um, you know, we just couldn't get to see the full picture on the camera. But I've got a bit of footage to show you here. But we're really chuffed, aren't we? Yeah, um, we are. 
and obviously it's a little bit more difficult now because of the full lockdown i think we can go and see it but we're not moving at the moment so um we're just having to get pictures from them as and when they can get get some of what they've done yeah real shame um that we can't get in there but it's still happening isn't it it is still happening and uh it is yeah. what it is as yeah. we keep saying um so that's about it for this video folks thanks again for uh tuning in and watching and uh give us a thumbs up and thank you for all your support and keep your messages going and i know we can't always get back to everybody but we do try so and we do read every single message so um keep them coming in it's lovely lovely to hear from you all so see you next time. Promise it won't be so long. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. Bye.